Namaste, Bula Vinaka, and a very good afternoon to each one of you. Thank you for the warm welcome, and thank you for your kind words. I am pleased to be here with the representatives of the Australian High Commission and UNICEF to officially hand over the new evolution block to the School Management Committee. I wish to extend my sincere gratitude on behalf of the Government of Fiji to UNICEF and to the Government of Australia for their unwavering support. Your support towards our children's education by providing the WASH facility is acknowledged and I also like to acknowledge UNICEF for helping Fiji uh, during COVID uh, pandemic. They helped us uh, with research data, with various meetings we used to have in our office to decide on the opening of the school. It was a tough decision. Uh, it looked very simple when the school opened, but behind the scene, uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, discussions going on uh, with UNICEF as well as WHO. So thank you for that. Uh, uh, I also take this opportunity to thank the Australian government. They have been helping Fiji with uh, a building of the school infrastructure that were damaged during Cyclone Harold and during other cyclones that came our way. And these developments are taking place in the Northern Division. And at the end of this project, I'm delighted that the, um, the team from uh, uh, the Australian government team will hand over all the designs for the classroom block, for the boarding school, for the evolution block, and uh, the dorms, there'll be dormitories that they will be building. So in other words, we will have ready to use uh, plans and that can help other schools to simply borrow and use. Ladies and gentlemen, for a school with 920 students, this new wash facility will ensure students have adequate sanitation and, and uh, hand washing facilities. We have heard from the head teacher the ratio of uh, students to the number of uh, pen. Uh, it's a clear indication that we need more uh, wash facilities in our schools. And uh, for this school, it's a large school, the number is big, and obviously uh, the new wash facility is going to help our students. Now you have a better facility, which will be handed over today. And uh, we just request that you need to look after this facility. And I urge students to follow the rules that have been put in place for its use and care. This new facility built at a cost of $60,200, we all know will go a long way and we look forward uh, to the proper hygiene and sanitation that is now being introduced through this wash facility that will help in preventing the spread of diseases and infections. I know that uh, uh, you know, over a period of time, as human beings, we tend to relax and do not take into consideration the basic hygiene requirements, and that is simply washing your hand with soap. And COVID-19 has taught us a valuable lesson. And we are now in the habit of washing our hands regularly, and I hope you'll continue with this practice now that we are winning away from this uh, pandemic. According to a UNICEF report of 2020, around 818 million children lack basic hand washing services at their school. 355 million went to schools which had facilities with water but no soap, while 462 million went to schools which had no facilities available for hand washing. This is a sad reality, but Fiji is much better. You've heard that 97% of our schools are connected with uh, water supply. And we made sure that schools have water tanks to harvest rainwater as a backup. And any school that needs water tank 
they can make a request to the ministry and we provide water tank. Uh, in this financial year, the announcement was made that uh, the government will build the base on which the water tanks are placed. So we will not just provide you with water tank, but we will also provide you with the base. Ladies and gentlemen, the WASH program provides funding to selected schools to help them improve access to water, sanitation, and hygiene, and promote safe and secure learning environment. To date, 31 schools have benefited from this program. 10 facilities were renovated, nine new wash facility blocks were constructed, and 12 schools had the existing evolution blocks renovated, and new wash, hand washing stations were built. Today, the newly constructed evolution blocks for the boys and girls will provide the standard sanitation facilities that our children need. It is important to note that infrastructure which is both appropriate and of good quality has a significant impact on our students. An improved wash facility will not only provide basic support for health and help students prevent the spread of infectious disease, but ultimately, it contributes to the well-being of our students. The Fiji First Government prioritizes education for each child, and the advancement of education in Fiji is encouraging. Appropriate funding for infrastructure improvement in schools are provided. In this year's budget, 12 million is allocated to build staff quarters, driveways, evolution blocks, and upgrade and maintenance of government schools. A sum of $380,000 is provided to support nine schools to either build a new evolution block or to renovate existing wash facilities. Ministry places a lot of emphasis on wash facilities. The heads of schools are very much aware of this and uh, we emphasize, we emphasize in every forum that the wash facilities must be clean, must be presented well, so that our children can use those facilities safely. It has been a practice that we tend to look after the office, we tend to look after the classroom, but when it comes to the wash facilities, very little attention is paid towards that while the teachers teach about water safety, hygiene, sanitation. But the real example that we have in the school is the wash facilities, and if one visits the wash facilities, they cannot see the three things that are being taught uh, to our children. So I encourage, particularly ECE year one teachers, to teach students how to use the toilet facility. It's very important that our young ones know how to use toilet facilities, and the adults are taught, particularly students in higher classes, that you must clean up the toilet before, uh, after you have used it. That should be a common practice, so that the next person who goes in to use the toilet facility, he or she finds the facility clean. And if we do that, then we'll be able to maintain the hygiene we are talking about. Last year, Ministry of Education developed a concept plan for a modern and practical uh, evolution block with engineering drawings to standardize evolution block in all schools. The design that we have developed takes into consideration natural lights, and ventilation. The design also takes into consideration the safety of our girls. So we have construction ready building plan which will save time and money for other schools who wish to build evolution blocks. And my ministry is ensuring that we are building modern and quality infrastructure for the benefit of our students. Gone are the days that, you know, just to save resources, 
that is cement and blocks and tiles, very tiny, um, small uh, t toilets were built. And it wasn't spacious. Even the cheapest tiles were used. But we need to move away from that. Whatever we build, it has to be of good standard. It should be appealing. So we have taken all that into consideration now that we are developing, or rather building, uh, modern infrastructure. On this note, I wish to state that the upkeep of the school facilities is extremely important to provide a conducive environment for our children to study. We must continue to remind our students of the importance of looking after and taking good care of the immediate surroundings. Today, we will hand over this great asset to the School Management Committee. It is now up to the head of school, teachers, students, and the Management Committee to treat this asset with care. Ministry provides free education grant for the repair and maintenance of buildings. I strongly encourage management and the head of school to develop proper maintenance plans for timely renovation. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are aware of Project Viria, which will address intermittent water supply in Suva Nosori Corridor. And I'm, I'm stating this very clearly uh, at this forum because I know in Suva Nosori Corridor, our people are facing some problems with water supply. They're not getting regular uh, water supply. And I want to emphasize that by far, this, this is the biggest project for Fiji. Viria Water Project is being built at a cost of around $240 million. Once completed by mid next year, this water project will produce 40 million liters of water daily, and it will benefit 360,000 Fijians living in this corridor. And the difficulties your school may be facing, or your neighbors may be facing, or the people living in this corridor are facing, will be a thing of the past, because this project is going to address that. It's not, we are not at the initial building stage. In fact, it has progressed to a stage that we are on the verge of completion. So just uh, six months for next year and a couple of months from this year will help us to complete this very, very big project that the government has embarked on. Ladies and gentlemen, with these words, I once again thank our partners, the Australian government and UNICEF for their invaluable support in improving the quality of education and other infrastructural projects throughout Fiji. Our collaboration is based on our shared belief that by working together, we can achieve real results and in turn, transform the lives of our children. Thank you for your cooperation and commitment. I also convey my thanks to the contractor and the hardworking team that supervised this project. And finally, I wish teachers, students, the very best for the rest of the academic year. Dhanewad Vinaka. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, children, for being good. I'll just, I'll be asking questions based on the speech or the address given by our people. To make it clear, our first day is one.
look up, look up, don't look at anyone else. Oops, sorry. Let me see who will be the first one.